Um, I think when you have when you have good weather, especially for your your sprint hurdles, jumps, and, and and even your throws, kids, like good warm weather goes a long way. I mean, you saw it particularly in the sprint group. Um, you know, just how people were blowing up their times, and and you know, even even out at Bucknell, you know, those races that are running late in the evening, um, you know, late in the evening under under you know darkness with with 60 degrees is very very different than running in 45 in rain so it's uh it was a really really good thing to string two meets together you know mar fry was a was a very good weather meet and then all ohio and bucknell were good weather meets um and and the performances reflect that for sure uh, particularly proud of the women's team I mean, we, we left a lot of points obviously at bucknell um, and they still did the job they still went in and you know granted there's there's a couple teams from ohio that are missing in that but I think anytime you can go to a meet and pull off a win, um, you know, it's a good thing, I think, for, for team morale and sense of confidence in what you're capable of doing. So uh, it was a good weekend for sure. So it may sound kind of crazy for me to say it, but I, 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 if you go to a conference meet and it's beautiful weather and you're, you're in, you know, Atlanta, it's 74 degrees and everyone's popping off huge performances, that's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, but at the end of the day, the huge performances and the, the final standings and how the teams compete can be two completely different things. And I think in a meet where the weather becomes the equalizing factor, um, as I think it will be this weekend, it, it's it's about beating people. You know, people have to get away from their 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 staring at their marks and, and worrying about that stuff. You just worry about beating people in different colored jerseys. And I, I kind of love that. I think that that's a really good part of our sport that gets lost sometimes in the pursuit of high performance is that um, you score by beating people. And, and so, you know, I look forward to that. I think that it's it's uh, it's chilly, it's a little bit breezy, but it's not awful. And we've we've been to meets so far that are are much worse. You know, our 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 late March, early April, I think it was Carnegie and then Oberlin were were worse than you'll see this weekend. So I think we're prepared for it. I think we're hitting good stride here with performances coming out of the last weekend, and and uh, I think it'd be really good. I think people take take the UAA, you know, obviously a little bit more serious than any other meet of the year. So there's that extra adrenaline that comes with it and I think that people are, are um, you know excited to go there and, and, and put some good competitions together. Hi my name is Grace Masunas and I'm a first year on the track and field team. I am a hurdler and a jumper and I'm majoring in cognitive science. My mom is a doctor so I've kind of had that exposure to medicine throughout my life um, and then never really looked elsewhere into um, any other fields. Um, I don't really know why medicine has always kind of stuck with me, but um, yeah, so I've definitely been interested in that my whole life. And then um, I actually started off as neuroscience because I was really interested in the brain and I really liked my psychology class that I took um, my senior year of high school. Um, but then I kind of heard more about cognitive science and how that's more focused on like behavioral stuff where neuroscience is kind of more about like the pathways and like kind of, I don't know, more sciencey, I guess. So I was just more uh, interested in like behavior and how um, things can relate to each other. So that's kind of how I ended up with um, cognitive science. Last summer, I shadowed a neurologist in a hospital. Um, I went with her on her rounds a few times. So that was a really cool experience because um, she was very accommodating and knew that I was, you know, just like a senior out of high school. I didn't really know very much. So um, I went into the rooms with her while she was just kind of like updating her patients. Um, they were um, like patients who had just had strokes. So they were all like at different levels um, in their recovery. So that was really cool to see. Um, and she kind of just like explained what the um, procedure is for when people come in with strokes and then how they, how she treats them afterwards. Um, so yeah, like I said, she was very accommodating and she would like show me the scans of their brains and kind of explain what each thing meant. Um, so that was really cool. And I'm hoping to get some more shadowing done this summer. Um, I've been talking to a doctor who works in emergency medicine. So hoping to get some experience with him and then um, just trying to branch out with other fields of medicine. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanna do 
with that personally uh, in the future, just because there are so many fields and it's kind of hard to um, decide what you want to do when you don't have that experience. So that's kind of my goal for the future is to just keep branching out and looking and seeing what interests me. I just joined AKO um, this semester in the spring. Um, we are focused on domestic violence awareness. Um, so it's like a great month for that. It's, um, you know, Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Um, so we've been doing a few things with that. Um, we just had a philanthropy event um, that was kind of like a pageant style to raise awareness um, for that. Um, we brought, brought in a lot of money, so that was really good. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just joined this semester, so haven't gotten to be as involved, but um, definitely looking to get more involved in that um, in the future. I think that managing track classes, um, other extracurriculars hasn't been too bad. It definitely is manageable. Um, it's just like all about finding the balance and setting aside time for all of those individual things. But as long as you stay on top of that and don't procrastinate, which I tend to do, um, but I've been getting better. So um, I just think it's really all about balancing your time and it's definitely doable here. The people that I've met here definitely are a highlight. Um, I think it can be hard when you're just starting out for anybody, no matter where you go as a freshman, um, especially like I didn't know anybody from my high school that came here, so I was a little bit concerned about that. Um, but it was really easy, like everyone's in the same boat, you know, so um, it was, it was good and it was easy to make friends. I think um, it can kind of take a while to find your people, but like when you do, um, those have definitely been like the highlights for me. And with track, like that's an automatic group that you kind of have already. Like I knew going in that I would at least have that. Um, and it just has been a great experience so far. I'm really glad that I got to continue my athletics in college and um, meet new people in that area. So. Um, and then case has been great. Like the classes have been challenging, but like, you know, stimulating. Um, and then I think that the balance, like I said before, is easy, not easy to manage, but definitely manageable. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend coming to case for high school students for sure.